This is Jammu and Kashmir, heaven on earth. India's northernmost territory is located between nuclear neighbors China and Pakistan. It has India's first floating post office and the country's largest floating market. The region is India's largest cultivator of saffron and the third largest in the world. The Pir Panjal Tunnel is the longest in India at over 11 kilometers. The Gulmar Gondora is among India's longest ropeways at over 5 kilometers, while at over 83 percent, Jammu and Kashmir has among the highest literacy rates among all states in the country. For decades, this Himalayan heavenly abode had been crippled by Pakistan's attempts to sow trouble. But not anymore. Jammu and Kashmir is rising like never before and nothing will stand in India's way. In 2023, the Union Territory is set to break all previous records for tourism. Till August this year, more than 1.68 crore or 16.8 million tourists have visited Kashmir. Fast closing in on the record set in 2022 of 1.88 crore visitors. But what's driving Kashmir's tourism boom? The region's snow-capped peaks and lush valleys got a huge promotional boost thanks to the Indian government's decision to host an international G20 tourism meet in Srinagar. The event put Kashmir back on the world tourism map and the result is being felt instantaneously. Over 25,000 foreign tourists have visited Kashmir in 2023 already far exceeding last year's total of nearly 20,000 tourists. A tremendous vote of self-confidence, not just for international travellers, but for Indian domestic tourists too. Another major factor is religious tourism. 4.5 lakh pilgrims visited the Amarnath Cave Shrine this year, compared to 3 lakh Yatris last year. The region's transformation into a union territory and India's crackdown on cross-border terrorism has brought about a new wave of peace and prosperity the valley hasn't seen in decades. According to reports, hotels and houseboats in Srinagar have already received nearly 100% of bookings till the end of November. Even the COVID pandemic came as a blessing in disguise for JNK tourism. With international travel restricted, it gave Indian domestic tourists an opportunity to fall in love with Srinagar all over again. The people of Kashmir finally have embraced peace and prosperity, even during the Israel-Hamas war, while the rest of India has witnessed occasional demonstrations. Jammu and Kashmir has remained largely peaceful. One can only hope the issue of cross-border violence will also be rooted out soon, once and for all. If you like this news report, then subscribe or hit the like button so that it can reach more viewers.